Coming to you from the comfort of our own homes and into yours, the Championship Guard Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League Canadian Premier Match of the Week presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Hello again, everyone. I'm Colin Cosell, and as always, I thank you for joining us here in our second streaming match of the, of the week. This is, of course, week three, and we are north of the border, which means, obviously, we are in Canada for a battle between Kylie Edmonds and Ross Snook, two men who have never played in a CDC match but are cut from very similar claws, and I'll have more on that in just a moment. As always, tonight's match is a best of 14 race to eight legs with two points on the line. That's right, the winner would receive two points, but in the event of a tie, each competitor will, will earn one point apiece. Also worth noting, we will be taking a break after the seventh leg, no matter the score. So let's take a look at where we are at in the standings after week two. None of the matches from this week count towards that, so just keep that in mind. Jim Long with four points. Of course, he represented Canada uh, for the CDC at the Alley Pally back in 2018, followed by Matt Campbell, who represented us and Canada over at the Alley Pally just five months ago. Kylie Edmonds and Kiefer Durham are tied for third. Sean Brenneman with one point, Kerry Way with one point, and Ross Snook looking to get off the snide tonight against Kylie. And then we move on down south like we always do from time to time. I don't know what that means. Doesn't matter. Here we are in the United States. Gary Mawson with four points. He's up to six now after his decisive victory over Larry Butler last night, but that matters not in this graphic. Jeremiah Millar with four points as well. Lauby, our reigning Continental Cup champion with two points. Nick Lindbergh with two, and then Pulio, Cheney, and Butler looking to get off the snide this week as well. As for our current matchup, Kylie Edmonds, the 39-year-old who lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia, taking on, of course, Ross the Rock Snook, the 48-year-old, doesn't look a day over 47, from uh, Ottawa, Ontario. We've got the 21-ranked two-year order of merit versus number 13 ranked order of merit. And, uh, of course, as I said, these men, a lot of things in common, not the least of which they both throw their signature darts by Phoenix. Of course, Kylie is the, uh, the shooter of 21 grams and Ross with 23. All right, so let's get to uh, to these gentlemen. Hi, guys. So good to see you, Ross and Kylie. Kylie, I've, I've seen you recently. Ross, I haven't. So, Ross, I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, Ross, how are you handling everything with the pandemic? How have you been? Give us an update. What's going on in your life? What's going on in your life? I've been pretty good. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be still working, so that's one good thing. So I haven't been throwing as much starts as some of the other guys, but I've started to grow hair for once in, like, 15 years. <laughs> I don't know how that's going I didn't yet. know you. I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know what the color was. I was going to ask you if it was a dye job, if there was something I'd missed. It's looking a little scary at the moment, so we'll see how it goes. You know what? The hair doesn't matter as long as the darts fly well. That's all that really matters. Now, Kylie, you've got your signature haircut, and it goes well, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, how's everything going uh, for you over in uh, – in your neck of the woods? Uh, not working. Just pretty much playing darts, and I got a six year old, so keeps me pretty busy. Fantastic. Now, uh, I mean, not fantastic, but I mean, we're making the best of it that we can. At least you have your six year old to keep you busy. Are you homeschooling as a result of the pandemic? Uh, yes. Are you the one? Are you the teacher? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> a man of few words. Short, sweet answers. That's what we asked for. You know what? Enough of this. We'll just get right into it. Gentlemen, best of luck. Thanks for being a part of this tonight. We really appreciate it. Of course, we are bringing you live professional sports online, and we are one of the few outlets in the world doing it. You guys are a part of it, so we thank you. And, of course, they're part of our production team as well, setting up their cameras, getting on their marks, being a part of the interviews. Every single thing comes into play here. It's not just USA Dart Productions and uh, – Kevin Malfon and L. David I read myself, the players themselves are a part of it. So Ross is our host tonight on Dark Connect, but Kylie won the bowl. So gentlemen, best of luck. Shoot well. A race to eight, best of 14. A 7-7 seven, seven tie is possible. We will be taking a break after the seventh leg. 
Men of very few words as they get into it, and uh, still hearing a bit of an echo, so someone over there has got to turn me off because, uh, I mean, there's only so much Colin we can handle. Let's be honest here. Kylie opens up with a ton. So as aforementioned, two men uh, cut of similar claws, obviously. They're both Canadian. They have their own signature Phoenix darts. And their favorite pandemic quarantine snack of choice, potato chips. Favorite out? Double tops. Very similar gentleman. How about that? 60. 60 for Edmonds there. He was an NDFC athlete of the year in 2016. Of course, NDFC stands for National Darts Federation of Canada. And he's a Continental Cup quarter finalist for us in the CDC. Ross Snook now on your left. A 2017 PDC World Championship qualifier and a top 16 finish in the 2019 Continental Cup. That, of course, what feels like centuries ago, but it was last fall, 60 again for Kylie, last fall in New York City. And of course, to all of you watching at home, sharing the link, watching, putting it on your smartphones, your smart tablets, your smart TVs, so you're watching live sports with us, I am watching you in the thread. I am here to communicate with you guys as well. Let's have some fun, let's watch some great darts. Let's make some memories. 180. And that's a maximum of 180 for Kylie Edmonds, our first one of the night, and it took very little time to do so. Edmonds now down to a 101 out. Ross Snook not going to be able to do so with those first two darts. That is a 58, so Ross not thrilled with that round for sure. Edmonds not thrilled with that first start, but that second start was perfect. 81. Third one, not so much, but he will have another shot at it. Kylie just looking to hold throw. Again, no CDC meetings between these two guys, so unfamiliar territory, so to speak, at least in the CDC realm. Obviously very familiar with each other. Edmonds now looking to walk it into the double 10. Second dart indeed, Kylie Edmonds, my new color commentator. I like the way this is working out for me. Taking a little, uh, little bit of pressure off the old broadcaster. All of you at home, we hope you are staying home and staying safe. And listening to your local medical experts. Come on, Ross. And the old, come on, Ross. These players have their own chance. 55. Not quite the, if you love the dart, stand up, but it is the old 55. And of course, we want to thank our friends at Dart Connect. Keeping Chalker's hands clean since 2015, I want to say. I don't know. I've got to look at the history on that, but I think I just came up with a good catchphrase for them. Nice first from Kylie. Second one just south. 99. And a nice 99. One of those favorite numbers, if you don't know how to do an Irish brogue, just say it, 99. You'll get it. Come on. I know Kyle Watson would appreciate that joke. 41, so Ross Snook, as aforementioned, this could come into play here. Ross has been able to work during the pandemic, has not been able to throw many darts. So we'll see how that comes into play here. Ross Snook, of course, ranked higher than Kylie Edmonds in the two-year order of merit. For the CDC, the championship dart circuit, that CDC, the good CDC. Not that the other one is bad, but, you know, the one that's providing entertainment. You know where I'm going with this. You guys are used to me. 26. Breakfast is served at the Edmonds household. So Snook with a chance to get some big darts here. Try to set himself up for an out. Edmonds has been home through the pandemic. Has the joy of spending time with his six-year-old. But the ill fortune of not being able to work, and I can relate.
So Ross the Rock is down to an out. Kylie Edmonds, man without a nickname and without any enthusiasm behind that 44. So Ross having a little trouble trying to get going here. The Rock with a rocky start. Kylie Edmonds now. There's the 38. Needs that trip 20. Does not get it. Ross, the... Exasperated sigh, leaves himself a 24. Kylie Edmonds going for fat, fat double top, climbing the ladder. 40. Climbs it a little too high, falls off the roof. Now it's Scott, it's uh, Ross, the Rock Snook. And that's it, Ross Snook able to hold throw. The second dart falls in. We are notched at one. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a race to eight, but in the event we are tied at seven, that's the way it will end. It is, of course, the best of 14 legs. Two points on the line. And for those of you who are unaware of what's going on with this league, are the geniuses uh, behind the CDC brilliantly took a pivot with having to cancel the original tour stops in April and May and put together this virtual league. I know there's others that are doing it, but not this well. And with that, we have seven of the top shooters from North America, rather from the United States and from Canada in the U.S. and Canadian divisions uh, appropriately. Seven weeks, round robin. U.S. players against U.S. players, Canadian players against Canadian players, two points on the line per match. A tie results in one point apiece. The top four from each will then play divisional playoffs, and it will all culminate at the end of May with the United States versus Canada for the first ever championship league final. I'm being told Kylie the Noopy Assassin is a nickname. Good to know. The old 1-2-1 one, one from Kylie Edmonds looking to hold throw. Both men have done so here through the first two legs. Trying to go into the third leg, maybe with a break. We don't know. We'll find out. Once again, I'm Colin Cosell coming to you from Long Island in New York. Kylie is in Nova Scotia, Halifax to be precise. And Ross Snook is in Ottawa, Ontario. You all are at home. We are all at our own homes. And yet here we are watching professional darts. Brilliant first dart from Kylie. Oh, the double bull is not in the cards for the Nufi Assassin. Snook now. There's the fat. How about the double? Wow. How about the double 10 then? That is How about a 15 to ruin everything? That makes it difficult for the rock. The gravity is strong tonight in Ottawa, Ontario. Edmonds, 19, double eight, double eight. It is indeed Edmonds holds throw. So both of these fine competitors holding throw in the early offset as we enter the fourth leg, Ross Snook up to the Aki. I like the interactive nature of this, watching the comments going on in the stream. We've got to find a nickname for Kylie Edmonds and we got to find one for Nick Lindbergh as well. Behind the scenes, everyone at the CDC has decided that Mr. Microphone's a good nickname for me. We'll see if that sticks.
But enough about me. How about Kylie Edmonds' turn to open his fourth leg? Ross looking a little more concentrated with his darts there. And by concentrated, I mean around the trip 20. Kylie Edmonds darts. 21 grams, but they hit that board sounding like 28. The Rock shooting on his Windmill Blade 5, shooting with his 23 gram Ross Stokes signature darts by Phoenix Sports. Anthony, don't try to uh, advocate the Mr. Microphone thing. Keep in mind, I've got the microphone for this match. I can make and break everyone. I've got power. I'm just kidding. We're just here to have fun. Fun and competitive darts. Two gorgeous first darts, but looks like it's just a ton. No, I am wrong. That is a ton 40 from Kylie Edmonds. Huge darts puts pressure on Ross Snook now. A treble would be so helpful for him. Oh, that last one. An errant breeze whisks it into the seven. I don't know what that was either. So a 90 from Kylie Edmonds leaves him 71. Ross Snook now with a chance to hold throw. That chance has been diminished by that first dart. So just when Snook... The Rock was looking like he was getting more into a groove. Gives Edmonds now a chance at double top his favorite. 51. But not right now. 51 scored. Ross Snook looking to hold throw once again. Both gentlemen shooting Win Mao. Blade five boards. Both gentlemen shooting their signature Phoenix darts. And now Snook was looking... For bullseyes to start. And there's the double 10 from Kylie Edmonds. Anticlimactic, I apologize. That was my fault. First we agree with you, Kylie. That was indeed the first start. So Kylie Edmonds, the first to break tonight, breaking Raw Snook, gets to lead off our fifth leg and... After two more legs, we will be taking a break. During that break, we've got a special message from our friends from A to Z Darts, our friends who are our main sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. Go to a to Z Darts com. They've started a blog, and we'll have a lot more on that. Is that a ton 40 there, Ross? It is indeed. Rocking the trip 20 is Ross Snook. Kylie Edmonds looking for the second maximum, and he does it. That's a 180. In the words of Anthony Eugenia, we know, Kylie, you don't have to show it off. So now both of them tied at 276. So it could add four perfect darts in a row. So that second one fell into the five. Third one to the single, 85 scored. Snook really could use a break right now. Not the raw Snook we're used to seeing, that's for sure. He knows it as well. But darts is like golf, just on a much smaller level. It is a game of muscle memory and practice, and if you don't get that practice in, you're not going to win. 59 for Kylie Edmonds, brings him down to an out. Snook looking to follow suit. Oh, what a maximum would do for him right now, even if it's down at the triple 19. Two for two. Third one falls just out. But a big round nonetheless puts some pressure on Edmonds. First start didn't fall exactly where he wanted, but he was able to 
Pivot down to the 19. Didn't get that triple 19. Leaves him 68. Ross Sook now. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. It goes against the little card you get with your board when you open it at first. The old out chart board. Wow, 48 there. Double 10. Wow, Edmonds with the 68 out. Two darts. Right after Ross Snook nearly took out the double 18. Unconventional, but there is no convention anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of preference. The mop method, as I like to call it officially as of right now. Fantastic finish by Ross, and the fans in the stream are loving it as well. Unfortunately, it was just not enough as Kylie was able to get that big finish unconventionally as well and takes the 4-1 lead here in the sixth leg. And for those of you in the stream, keep in mind, the players are also part of the production team. They've set up their cameras. We only have a single camera shot. We're able to zoom in a little bit thanks to the magic of USA Dart Productions with Kevin Malenfant and L. David Irie. But I believe we were all a little fooled by Ross's out. Just missed the 18, but if you heard the sigh, you knew. You just, you knew. Like Mrs. Kittner's face when she approaches Chief Brody right after her son dies in Jaws. You just knew he, she was gonna smack him. Ninety-five from Kylie Edmonds sounds exasperated, not thrilled with it for some reason. Ninety-five is perfectly acceptable if you're me. Anthony Martin, without referencing exactly what you're saying, I'll say I agree. So Ross Snook desperately needs to win this leg. Kylie Edmonds with a ton there. Snook looking to take out a 109. The big darts have not been hitting for Snook thus far. Gets that trip 19. What about that double 16, Ross? Oh, the exasperated size says otherwise. Nothing but exasperation, but no harm, no foul. Kylie cannot get out at 186. Thank you, Vinny Norton. I appreciate that. Ton for Kylie. Puts the pressure on Ross. Should be able to walk it on in. That's a good first step. That one falls into the single. Oh, that one falls just outside the double eight. A door wide open for Kylie. No nickname Edmonds. 18 leaves him 68. He's going double bowl, folks. He's getting single bowl instead, giving Ross Snook the opportunity he so desperately needs. And I guess he got it. All right. So that sigh sounded like when it went outside before. Ross with no reaction whatsoever except for a sigh. That one of relief, cutting it to 4-2. No matter what happens after this leg, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking a break. We urge you to stick around. We've got some important messages and some information to parlay your way. But if you were got to run, I, I get it. I get it. You're home. That's cool. Ross Snook really wants to win this leg. Needs to break Kylie Edmonds, get some momentum going his way into the break. Sounded like you said terrible and yeah, that was a 30. I'm sorry, Ross. I have to agree there. Kylie with back-to-back -to -back tons. Edmonds shooting 77 for the match so far. Ross shooting 74. Edmonds with the 4-2 lead. But as we've seen before, when the rock catches fire, that rolling rock catches no moss whatsoever. It just torches everything around it. Kylie Edmonds looking for his third consecutive ton. Instead, he gets a ton 40. Way to shut down the old announcer there, Kylie Edmonds. Ross Snook now one, uh, with a 331, a ton 80 would be huge for him, but not in the cards.
Looks like a 96, or is it a 58? It is a 96 indeed. So now Edmonds not going to take out the 161, but not a problem. That third one's a problem, though. What was that? He's been loving those bullseyes, though, so a nice single bull, double top for Kylie Edmonds, if he so chooses. Who am I to judge? Snook with a nice big round there, down to 105. The pressure is on Edmonds. He's looking for that single bull, does not get it now, double top. And a little two top for the double. What an opportunity for Snook to enter the break, garnering momentum, single bull. He's going double-double. Oh, Ross. Oh, and he doesn't get it. That third dart feels like miles after the second dart hit where he wanted it to. Now Kylie Edmonds, double 10. Now it's double five. Third dart. Third dart indeed. Kylie Edmonds takes a 5-2 to two lead after Ross Snook, looking for that bullseye double-double, comes up just a bit short. So now the pressure will be on Ross, gentlemen. We'll let you go take a break, take a breather, do whatever it is you need to do. But man, oh man, we went back and forth, and Kylie just took control. Ross Snook had his options, he had his opportunities, and came up short. What will happen coming up? We do not know. What I do know is there is a new darts blog available, and it is presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. That's right. Go to A to Z, a to Z darts .com to get all of your darting needs, your darting goods, and check, to check out their brand new blog. Here's some more on it. <laughs> And, of course, a shout-out to our friends at Cosmo Darts. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the CDC Championship League Canadian Premier Match of the Week presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. I'm Colin Cosell, you're you, and we're all at home. We are proud to be bringing you live professional sports, one of the few venues to do so in one of the great sports in the world that not enough people know about. Perhaps this is our avenue to greatness. Greatness! Needs to be on the side of Ross the Rock Snook down by three legs to Kylie Edmonds. After they went back and forth, both holding throw, Kylie just kind of took control. Ross had his opportunities but came up a little bit short. We'll see what the break does for them both. So we will ask the gentleman to come back. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get the second half of this underway. Now keep in mind, this is a race to eight. In the event that we're tied at seven, well, that's where it will end. There are two points on the line. Each player will come away with one point apiece. That, of course, will affect the standings. At the very end of this, the top four Canadians, the top four Americans, will advance and play in their divisional semifinals and finals, after which we will wage war. Canada, the United States, the way we've always wanted it. 
I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's true at all. I actually I like our neighbors up, from up north. But, gentlemen, we are ready to get underway. Ross, it is your turn to lead us off down 5-2, looking to hold throw and then possibly break Kylie to, uh, to keep this interesting and exciting and get that much-needed warm-up that he needs. And to all of you at home, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. That's very kind. So, gentlemen, if you can, hear me. If you guys can hear me, we are ready to get underway. Go ahead, Russ. They can and they will. Leg number eight. Here in the CDC Championship League, presented by Magic Dark. Are you there, Kylie? Yes, buddy. You ready to go? Ross, you lead us off. Did you already go? Are these two men married? Because there seems to be a communication breakdown. I'll have you know, my wife laughed at that, so it was funny. And to all of you who know her, Julia says hello to all of our dart friends. Our puppy bagel doesn't know any better, but he says hello anyway. Okay, I'm ready to go. Ross is shot. Based on Ross shooting bulls there, I don't think he knows we're ready to go. Hey, listen, these are the breaks. This is what happens when uh, we're the players are part of the production and we're trying to, you know, figure it out as we go. Whatever. As long as you're entertained, who cares? Having some laughs and let's just stare at dartboards for a while. Why not? Let's make it weird. Who cares? One thing we know for certain, Ross will have zero problem with the bullseye. He has just been pounding that here in the warm-ups. Gentlemen, can you hear me? All right, it's Ross shot. Can you hear me? Okay, it's starting now, Kylie. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like they can hear each other. It looks like Ross has deviated from the bullseye. Does this mean we've got darts underway? I see him punching in a score. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We did it. We have overcome technology. The robot overlords will not take us down, so help us, sweet baby Jeebus. We've got darts underway. Leg number eight, Kylie Edmonds with a 60 to Ross's lovely 55. Exactly not what they wanted to start off, but whatever. It might have gotten a little cold in the meantime. Gary Mawson is watching after last night's fantastic showing. Gary, great to see you. Hello to you and your wife, Lily, celebrating... 53 weeks of marriage now in three days. Thank you, Pat Gallagher. That gave us all enough time to drink it in, man.
regardless, we are back. The darts, I'm sure, will heat up. Fortunately, a little bit of cool down time for both of these fine shooters. 60. Again, Snook was a 2017 PDC World Championship qualifier and a top 16 finisher in the 2019 Continental Cup in New York City last fall. Edmonds an NDFC Athlete of the Year in 2016 and Continental Cup quarterfinalist. Both of these men know what it takes to throw the big darts. Ross Snook needs some big darts right now. 45. Cheers to you as well, Gary Mawson. I hope uh, you've been able to up your internet from the 56K dial-up we had last night. I say this in jest, of course. We're all working on this together, but, you know. Uh, we uh, we do a little uh, bust of the old chops in the darts world, as we do in all professional sports, and that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. 140. Ross disappointed with that second dart. Really wanted to get at least a ton 40 out of there. Left himself 94. Kylie Edmonds looking for our biggest out of the night. Is not going to get it with that single 16. 81. Instead, comes away with an 81. So, Ross now. Traditional look? No, of course not. Why would he make it traditional? He was going 25-19 and then going for the double bull. Instead, comes away with a single. Get a little fancy with it. Secondary. Not sure if I'd go that approach, especially with Kyle hitting doubles the way he is right there. So Ross down by three, went for the fancy out. And as a result, missed. Kylie hit and now has a 6-2 lead, breaking Ross the Rock Snook. And now looking to take a stranglehold on this match. Two legs away from victory tonight. Ross Snook, no points in the league thus far. Kylie, right there at the top of the standings, looking to add to that lead, opens with a ton 40. And even when Edmonds has had errant darts, he has found a way to recenter himself and find a triple. I'd say a good 90% of the time to get himself down and get himself ahead of Ross. And that has been kind of the deciding factor here in this match. The old adage, triples for show, doubles for dough, or trebles for show, doubles for dough, depending on where you are in the world. And that has been the key to Edmund's success tonight. And it's not as if Ross was trying to get fancy either. Those are darts that he'd normally be able to hit if he was able to practice a little bit more. But if you're just joining us, Ross has been an essential worker up in Canada. He has been working throughout this pandemic. He has not been afforded the luxury of being able to practice darts. For the rest of us who are unemployed, a bit jealous. Kylie, however, one of those people like myself who has been forced home, has been able to practice a little bit more, more time with his six-year-old son, but also – you know, not working. Ah. Snook looking to take the big out. Comes up short. Edmonds now, 78. Oh, I like that approach. Wow, look at that. Is that a double 12, double six out? Are you kidding me? My goodness, Kylie Edmonds. Innovative in his outs indeed. Didn't see the angle myself, but the score says he's absolutely on the money. Fantastic, fantastic out from Kylie Edmonds. One of the most innovative we've seen here in this league. Now, The Rock. Gets a ton 40. It is do or die now. The only thing you can hope for is a tie. 51.
And in conversation with our dear friend and one of our founding fathers of the CDC, Anthony Eugenius, as anyone down to a 91 to 95 out, we'll start with Bullseye, for which I would agree. However, at 94, I don't know. if He was counting the bullseyes during practice, Anthony. We're going to have this conversation without you in it. But I just feel like a trip 18 double top would, would be the safer route, especially uh, given the way the dart's been flying. But – in hindsight, Ross was destroying the bullseye in practice. All that aside, doesn't matter. That leg was lost nonetheless. But thank you for the insight because those are darts I would never personally go for. The old single, then 19, double bowl out, but uh, not the way those have been flying. Kylie Edmonds, though, hitting a big ton 40. Ross Snook finding the trip 20 a lot more during this leg. Is it too little too late? Again, two points on the line. Kylie wins this leg or the next leg or the next leg. It could go on for a while. Regardless, he requires one more leg to get the win. Is that a ton there? Indeed. So now Ross Snook, the rock. Ton 33 out. He needs it. He knows it. There's a trip 19. Oh. Second dart falls out. Oh, Kylie Edmonds looking to put the hammer down and finish this off. Yes, a gentleman in the, the thread. I understand the math. I get it. I was just thinking philosophically, there is no real method to the madness anymore. Double top for Ross Nook to stay alive. Double 10 now. Oh, my God. oh, and you can hear the reaction. One of the things you would not normally get from a darts broadcast. Kylie Edmonds now, double five. Second there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Kylie Edmonds takes the match with an 8-2 win. After I was schooled on scoring in the thread, Kylie Edmonds schooled Ross on the board. What a yeah, showing God. tonight. And, of course, I would attribute yes, this personally, personally to the amount of practice that you were able to have. If I can have a quick interview with you, uh, gentlemen, you're able to come up. If not, don't worry. We'll figure it out. But what a tremendous showing by Kylie Edmonds adding on to his lead and to all of you at home. Thank you for watching and commenting in the thread. Sure has been fun. As we await the players coming up now. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. We appreciate you being part of the stream. Ross, obviously not the showing you were looking for tonight. Um, you said you've been working a lot. You haven't been able to practice as much. Uh, still, you were trying to throw your style of darts. Was there at any point you were going to try to turn away and, and try to simplify the way you shoot, or were you just expecting your normal, uh, you know, top flight style of excellence? Hello? Ross, can you hear me? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Can you hear me now? All right, Kylie, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, Kylie, I'll start with you. Kylie, it went back and forth. You guys were notched at two, and then you went on a six-leg tirade. Ross gave you some openings. You took advantage of it, but after a while there, you just got into a groove. Walk us through your night. Uh, I didn't score great. I finished good, so I just can't wait till uh, both connect. I can score and finish. I seem to do one or the other right now. So well, you did. It, it did start off. Your averages were in the the low seventies, uh, as it looks like Ross has given up on any chance of us having an interview. Um, you were in the low seventies. You're able to build it up to an eighty, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, so you did get into more of a groove. You seem disappointed with your darts, though. Yes, very. I'm practicing quite a bit now, so I should be doing better. But it is what it is. I'll take the two points. Do you do you feel like the, the, the virtual aspect of this uh, it, it, it has any sort of effect on your ability to play to the level that you expect from yourself? 
Actually, I'm a better player outside of my basement. So it's more just keep the iron moving. But I'm playing quite a bit lately, so I'm not used to playing this much. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. No home field advantage. But at the end of the day, you come away with the win, you get those two points, and you remain in the top of the standings of the Canadian division. So, Kylie, nice shooting tonight. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all your help and for setting up and, uh, and of course, being a part of the production team by setting up your camera. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. And, of course, we're going to see you on Tuesday when you play against Matt Campbell. What do you look forward to in that match? Uh, Matt's a big scorer, so i got to try to keep up. That's all I can say. A man of few words. You, you are, you are <laughs> every interviewer's dream. I appreciate it. Kylie, listen, in the meantime, go relax, take care, and enjoy the rest of your night. We really appreciate it. And, of course, uh, stay safe and uh, give our best to your six-year-old. We really appreciate it. All right, buddy. You too. Thanks. All right, Kylie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for tonight's match. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in, sharing, chatting, and enjoying one of the few live sporting events avail available in the world during these strange and unprecedented times. We hope to see you all again on Tuesday, the 28th, as the aforementioned Kylie Edmonds returns to the stream to take on Matt Campbell, the one who represented Canada and the CDC over at the Alley Pally in December of 2019. Both of next week's matches will be, both the U.S. and Canada matches, will be on the Magic Darts YouTube and Facebook streams. So you go to the Magic Darts YouTube channel and the Magic Darts Facebook page for the streams. And as always, all matches begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. Another quick reminder to check out the new blog on adzdarts.com. Just go to the site, click on the blog, and enjoy many riveting articles from such dart geniuses as New York's very own Dax Mana. And, of course, we want to thank Magic Darts Incorporated for being our main sponsor and to Dart Connect for providing us with the scoring, keeping dart scorers and chalkers' hands clean since whenever they started. This broadcast was brought to you by the USA Dart Productions crew, courtesy of Kevin Malfont and our super producer, Alan, uh, L. David Irit, on behalf of Kylie, on behalf of Ross, and on behalf of our amazing crew whose names are all hidden, but uh, you know who they are. They're working behind the scenes in the championship dart circuit. I'm Colin Cosell stay, saying stay home, stay safe, take care of one of another, uh, one of another and I'll see you next Tuesday. Ha <laughs> ha!